Hello and welcome there guys to the season finale of the Sony Bush series and for the season 2 finale here in the winter season of the 2014. We have ourselves three drivers on our hands to decide who will be champion, Jacob Hart, Jackson Williams, or Luke Martin. Jacob Hart's got the point lead coming into this race and Jackson Williams coming into this race is a total of 43 points behind. And with Luke Martin also is 82 points back. So it means Martin's got to win. And Hart has got to not score any points. Jackson Williams has got to finish a ver very big f amount back for Luke Martin to win this title. And for Jackson Williams to win this, it's going to be very hard for him to do so. Jacob Hart's got a very good, comfortable lead for the points coming into this race. Coming in only about 43 points. Had a second place in the points. Who's going to win the title? Who's going to win the championship in the final race of the season of the 2014 winter season? Let's get ourselves down to the start of the race. Rolling off in the final Sony event. The final Sony event that will run under as DC is the finale. This will be the final time you see DC as the finale. The Sony Cup Series in Season 11 was the final time we'd seen it. We told you guys in Season 11 that was the final time we'd see it as the finale back then. This is the last time you'll see it for the Bush Series. Alec Avenaro, Sam Curtis, the front row, but behind them is the two contenders fighting out this title for the two, to become the 2014 Winter Season title champ. Coming to the green, who's going to win the race? Who's going to win the championship to be crowned as the first 2014 champion? Let's get down and underway. Green flag is out. I think Jackson Williams might have cracked under the pressure here. Caution flag of, of the race. First caution of the day would happen right here with Jackson Williams turning the 19SM Curtis around and making a big wreck involving Vince Allen, actually Mace, Nick Perkles, and Sam Curtis right there, along with Jordan Davis. This is not going to help the start for Jackson Williams' runner of championship with the Bush Series. Bam, right there, he slammed the door of the 51. And with that happening with Jackson Williams, that's May causing to slow down a little bit. Jackson Williams, the only guy out of the top three running for this championship, trying to sweep the titles for being a champion of both the Cup and Bush side. Sorry we missed the restart there, but we are on lap 13 out of 60 now. And we got something to update you on that you got the 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd place guys. They all retired out of the race, so that means... Luke Martin's chances at winning this title just went down a little bit there because um, Jake Park's got to finish 17th or lower this race for Martin to even have a chance to win this race. Martin's got to win the race and have Jake Park finish 17th or lower along with Jackson Williams finishing pretty low himself for Martin to even have a chance. So Martin's hopes at winning the title may have just went a little bit lower there. Well, this championship is pretty much going in a way for Jacob Park. Jacob Park trying to win the first Sony event forever in a championship. He won his Art Saw Elite Series championship back all the way in Season 4 then. Jackson Williams' his biggest threat is when he down in the 14th position. I think that damage he got from the first incident is going to slow him down enough. Um, Jackson Williams really needed a good effort here, but Jacob Park still ain't think can go on in this race, but he still runs up here in the top half of the field. Right now the championship would go to number 5, Jacob Park. Yet again, Jacob Hart is still leading as the race goes on. Ash Curtis in the 8 car right below him there. Um, it's kind of had not the best of season in the 8 car. He's really low down in the points. 30, or 21st down in the points is Ash. And just not the best of luck. But Max, the inside coming up on there. He's trying to come up the past lead. Dylan Young in the 01. He's kind of had like a decent season over the Cup Series side. Over here in this 01 team, he's down here ninth in the standings. Just missed out on being a championship contender. But right there, Jacob Hart, you gotta think that um, Nick Mace has got to be really proud. Oh, God, and speaking of Nick Mace, he just turned McGuirt, and McGuirt's around. There goes McGuirt, the fi or not McGuirt, that's Alec Avenaro. Actually, McGuirt did get turned by Mace, but it just was Alec Avenaro spinning right there. There you see it, right there. So, Alec Avenaro just running his own line, he just got turned around right there. And I think Caution Flag came out for that. Yes, it did. Getting ready to go back green once again. P.J. Williams will lead him to the green. Williams, who was in the 
so many cup series last season. He's not in it this season, but he's ran okay this for the most part this season. He's just not had any much of luck. He's down all the way at 18th in the standings. He's kind of had a good season if he's been up front. Um, not had if he's had luck on his side, but up front still, you still got Jacob Hart up front, going your way with this title. But you got Luke Martin right there. Martin's got to hope that he finishes down in 17th position or lower. And as it runs right now, it's not going to happen. Checking in on Jackson Williams as the race progresses, a little bit over halfway. Um, yeah, he is not doing any good. I, you can tell that that wreck right there on the very start. Uh, was not good at all for his hopes. He's down really low. Last car on the lead lap in the draft. Or last car in the draft got Alan Cavanaugh behind him. But you can tell Jackson Williams. He's just got a little bit of dent in the side. Of causing the aerodynamics to mess up on him. And God, that's, that sucks right there for Jackson Williams. He was hoping to try and come in this race. And be the first driver to ever win a championship in both the Cup and Bush. Martin passes Hart for the position there, but that is not for a championship spot. Got to have Hart finish down there where Cavanaro is. That's in the 17th position for Martin to even have a threat at Hart for the title. Martin and Hart, they was strong all season, but Hart just had a better season. Martin just was not there when Hart was. Hart just had top fives over top fives, and that's a good bit of point amount. That's like 50 plus points every race finish in the top five. But if you finish in the top 10 every race, you get like a 20 through 40 point bonus every race. And that's a bit of points to lose, um, causing Martin to lose on Hart. And that's why he's not battling for the championship But Ash Curtis and Brandon McGuirt, who's um, down 21st and 22nd in the points, last in the standings, but up front the top two. Up front, the battle for the race lead is still um, been pretty much two wide and three wide racing. It could be better. But it shows why DC is probably not been the, going to be the finale anymore. Um, Raymond Fisher in the two car. He goes the inside there. He's kind of had like a pretty good season in the Cup Series side. And the two car this season, he's, um, where's Raymond at? Raymond's actually 10th in the standings over here on the Bush Series side. So he's leading in the final race. And here comes Hart in the five car. Still running with, away with this title for the first title he could ever win. And he's looking really good for him. And right here, the closest guy running to Jacob Hart in the points. Um, Jackson Williams has lost the draft, and you can tell that car is really wounded after um, being in that first incident. And it really sucks to have the championship not be as intense as we thought it might have been. Jackson Williams running around the race track down here in the 17th position. His hopes that the title just went away really early in the race. Nearly had a second caution right here at late in the race. Noah Hart turned Chris Washer, and he nearly wrecked the car right there. But great driving control by Chris Washer, able to keep his car straight. Luke Martin doing what he had to do coming into the coming into this race, but fate is not in his hands right now because um, Jacob Hart controls his destiny in the title hunt. And with Hart running down here in the 11th position, still good enough to wrap up the title. With five laps to go, two to decide the title, and the champion of the 2014 winter season in the Bush Series. <clears throat> Who's going to be the winner title? And it looks like this guy, Jacob Hart. He has done really well this season. He's not, I don't really remember him winning much of races. He won at most sport, and he won at Bearfield this season. Two races out of 11. That, that's the only ones I can remember off the top of my head. And... The number five of Jacob Hart takes the lead. He's trying to win the race here with only four laps to go. Dylan Young right in behind him there. <clears throat> this season has been one to remember as the worst one. The worst kind of season you can think of. I don't like this car mod. And it shows right here. <clears throat> but we're coming around right here. The two to go. Dylan Young has the lead. Demax right in behind him. Demax won the title for the Cup Series in Season 11 right behind him there. He won the Season 11 Championship for the Cup Series side. He's trying to win the race here. Ian Dutt has got his prime position right there down low, but Raymond Fisher wanted to try and get there. He couldn't get there enough. Raymond Fisher can't get low. He's got to stay in line with Demax. Demax trying to hold off and win the final race here at DC for the finale. But Dutt is there. He's got it low. Jonathan Skavnik, he's there as well with a huge run. And as it runs right now with Jacob Hart, he's got the title. 
No way, shape, or form he can lose this. Coming back to the start finish line, Donna's got the lead, but Scabnicky peaks low. Scabnicky's got to run. Scabnicky down low, and it's going to be Scabnicky in the number 99. Scabnicky wins the final race in the finale of DC, and Jacob Park, the number 5, is the winner season champion of the Bush Series. He wins the season 2 title. Jacob Park gets his second Arkansas Championship, or he's actually his third Arkansas champion, Championship ever. <clears throat> Won the Sony Bush Series title. That's going to be big for him. That'll probably give him a big, big, good, good ride. A really, really good ride for um, the Cup Series side in the Bush and the Sony Cup Series. Maybe even turn some heads in the DuPont or the Elite Series. But boy, Jacob Hart has dominated this series, this season, and it was a really miserable season to me because it really wasn't the best season. And this finale was kind of mediocre as well. With Jacob Hart finishing 10th, that wraps up the, the finale and the championship. Luke Martin finished 9th, but not a championship. Jackson Williams finished the 17th, and will lose the championship because of probably all that damage he had to the first wreck. But Jonathan Skabniki by two hundredths of a second, he is going to win the champion, or not, the, he's going to win the race <clears throat> in the final race of the season, in the final race as the finale of DC. How about that? Jonathan Skabniki wins, Dilda second, PJ Williams third, Dylan Young fourth, Jamax fifth, Brandon McGuire sixth, Ash Curtis seventh, Raymond Fisher eighth, Luke Martin finishes ninth, and the champion of the season finishes in tenth position. Well, that has been... <clears throat> the Sony Bush Series Season 2 Winter Season and it's been kind of a mediocre season but, but get ready guys a better season is coming up and this is probably going to be one of the best seasons ever out of the Bush Series as we go to the original cup mod and we're getting ready for that season but get ready for the final few races in the cup series side for the winter season guys see you then <laughs>